Hello and welcome to Tutorials Point. In this video, we will learn how to use CSS to style our HTML elements. Now we are going to use our first CSS property. So let me just remove this h2 tag for now. And let's save it and the h2 tag is gone. We have this h1 that says hello earth. What we are going to do here, the starting tag, the starting h1 tag here, I'm going to say something style. All right, style equals to and then double quotes. Now inside these double quotes, I'm going to write my first CSS property. Now observe that this hello earth is in black color by default, but I want to change its color to something else. Let's say green. So what I'm going to do here, here style equals and then these quotes. Inside these quotes, I will write color and then a colon. And inside the colon, I will specify the color. As you can see, VS Code is giving us suggestions of various colors, but I want the color to be green. So I will write green and then a semicolon. Okay. Now, once I hit save, control S to save. And as you can see, hello earth changes to green. So we have used our first CSS property. So this is one of the way of inserting a CSS style into an HTML element that we just saw. We can add multiple properties here. For example, just after the semicolon, I can have some other property. For example, I want the font style to be changed. So there is a property called as font style. I'll write font style. And as you can see, there is this option of font style. I'm going to quickly click on it and as you can see font style and then a colon and then space with a semicolon. So I will select italic. So I have written font size italic. Let me just extend it. Okay. So after the color green, I have written font size italic. Now once I save this, see how the font style changes. I will save it and as you can see, it has been italicized now. So we can add multiple properties. Also, just to let you guys know here, if you are coding along with me, you can see that when you code in long lines, so a scroll bar basically appears, this scroll bar. What you can do here is press Alt Z and the scroll bar is gone and your long line basically gets to the next line. So this is a quick shortcut that you need to know. So this is one of the way of inserting CSS styles inside our HTML. Okay. Now this way of adding CSS styles is called as inline styling. So let me just have a space here and I'll write for you inline CSS and I'll comment this out so that you can easily remember. So inline CSS is something when we directly add styling into an HTML element. Okay. That will be enough for this video. In the next video, we will see another way of using CSS called as internal CSS. So make sure to subscribe to the channel, hit that like button and I'll see you in the next video.